What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, um, I'm going to be taking a look at Nate Whiting, Whiting, something like that. I think it's Whiting. Um, or Wedding. I, I, whatever. Um, the Miami Dolphins just picked him up. He's a tight end. Uh, got him from Cleveland. He was an undrafted free agent for them. This was back when um, David Njoku was supposed to be uh, potentially looking for a trade, but that's no longer the case, so they let him go. Uh, I seen him a little bit in passing, just kind of watching Nate, Nate Stanley before the draft and stuff like that. Um, he's mostly a blocking tight end, if I remember correctly. Uh, not a particularly great one, but blocking tight end nonetheless. But uh, as you can see here, in this season he had 10 catches for 117 yards, so nothing super productive on the receiving end of things. Um... And, of course, before that, he wasn't getting playing time when TJ Hawkinson and Noah Fant were on the field. And that just makes sense. But, um, yeah, with that, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, there isn't much film on him. Uh, as you can see, like, I, I looked as hard as I could. Like, I, I, I've been looking for film on him. There really isn't much to go off of. Um, so, this is kind of what we got. The video I'm using is from Hash. I've used him his film before uh you know pre-draft stuff uh the player we're looking at nate is number 39 there um also if there's any noise in the background just try to ignore it this isn't using my normal recording time and yeah let's just go ahead and get into it um right here he's lining up actually at fullback right now I have it slowed down a little bit. Now, I'm not a big fan of this block here. He kind of he kind of just threw his shoulder into him. Uh, he didn't really square up and get his hands inside or anything like that. And the running back is kind of kind of get blown up because of it. Not a big fan of that, especially if you're supposed to be a blocking tight end primarily. As you can see there, he's not really meant to be really running a route. He's just kind of... He's pretty much here to make sure that this defender has to at least guard him. Uh, he's going to turn around here. He gets his hands to the outside, which if you've if you've been watching my channel for a little bit, you know I can't stand that. Uh, he gets his hands outside on and on the arms at that. Like, if you're going to do it, at least get the... Closer to the shoulder pads or something, but I, I need you to get your hands inside. That's where your power is. That's where your control is. Uh, his hips aren't square. Like, none of that. I know he's a tight end, but still. No, he's lining up right here. Can't really see the route there. Okay. Okay, so it kind of happened again. He just kind of goes down the middle of him. I mean, he does a little bit better. It looks like he's trying to get that hand at the his right hand inside there. Um but he doesn't really seem to be blocking with much of a plan and he's going to kind of Yeah, he kind of gets whooped there. That's much better. Look at that. that. That is much, much better. So, on this one, he's going to square it. Look at his hips. His hips are looking much better there. He's got his hands inside, and look at this. Now he's not going to get blown up. He's driving him because he had power and he had control because he got his hands inside. If he can do that a little bit more consistently, he'd be looking pretty, he'd be looking pretty good. Not a fan of that. Um, I liked part of that. I like that he got his hand on him. On on uh, 26 here. He didn't really commit. But then he came over to get with this guy. Yeah. He, got, he does have one of his hands inside. 
He looked. He looks kind of lost. Like when he gets these types of plays, he looks a little bit lost. What he should have done is tried to pass the. Uh, he, ch- he should have tried to pass the twenty twenty six to the tackle here. Is isn't that a uh, Werfs? I'm sorry. It's been a co- it's been a couple months since the draft. Once the draft is over, if they're not on my team, it all goes out of my head. But um, yeah, you should have tried to pass him to the tackle and then tried to make your way here. And uh, at the very least, one of the running backs might be able to chip him. But, you know, just general rule of thought is unless you're supposed to be letting him go, but this doesn't look like that's the case, you should always try to block the inside guy. I mean, the running back kind of picks him up. Overall, that's just a really muddy play. They seem to like lining him up at fullback. Which, I mean, we have Chandler Cox for that. Okay, that's much better. That's a, that's a lot better. He's right here. Again, he's getting his hands inside. He's getting low. He's got his hips squared. And he doesn't end up giving up much. Like, he, like 26 showed a little bit of power, but because he had control... Had his hands inside. Nothing really came of it. See what happens when your technique is sound. Okay, it looks like he's got his right hand on the outside. His left might be inside. I can't tell. This is why I love all 22, but I, I got what I got right now, so... Um, it looks like that left hand may have been inside, but if that's the case, you still should have kept trying to work your right hand in, but it's better than some of the things I've seen from him. He's right here. And then he kind of goes back to just kind of throwing his body into him, like, ugh. Not a fan. Not a fan of that. Okay. See, there we go. You got your hands inside. I like it. You got control of him. He kind of let go. You got to finish. You you definitely do got to finish. Looks like you might have his hands inside there if the tackle would move a little bit. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. It looked like he pulled some cl- <laughs> he pulled some cloth. That's what happened there. He pulled cloth and he <laughs> ended up in the dirt. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, he just kind of looks lost sometimes. Like I don't think he knew what he was what he wanted to do here. Cuz I think I think the play was intended to let him go. And he looked like he was gonna engage with number 1, but he just didn't. Again, kind of looks lost. He just kind of threw his body into him. But, I mean, to be fair, in this case, it's fine. Just kind of get your body in the way because the way the play is running. Just kind of stay in his way and you're good. I'm not too mad at it there just because of the situation. He's got his hand. uh, I think his right hand is inside. I think the left is on the out. Oh, no, he had him. It's kind of hard to see. I can't tell. Uh, This is why I love All-22 so much. It's why I pay for Game Pass for NFL film. But I don't have a way of getting college film, All-22. I know it's out there somehow. I just don't know how people get it. Um, if anybody knows, let me know. I'd love to 
taking that. Uh, it's kind of hard to see there. Werfs is in the way. I think that's Werfs. Looked like he kind of just threw his body into him, and he kind of got taken for a ride a little bit because of it. There you go. There you go. He got his hands inside there. I want him to finish. But at least he did get his hands inside. But again, you need he needs to get better at finishing plays too. Yeah. That's the thing too. I mean, we just traded for Adam Shaheen, so it's going to be kind of hard for this guy to make this team because Adam Shaheen's a pretty good blocker. Okay. Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't like that at all. He was so late to put his hands up. I don't like that. And because of that, the defender totally gets the advantage there. And because of that, he's able to disengage and ends up making this tackle. He's very inconsistent with his hands. But when he does put his hands inside, it looks okay. That means he's capable of doing it. He just needs to get more consistent. Yeah, he just kind of threw his body into him. Which, I mean, that's another case where it's kind of okay because you just put your body in the way. The running back is going toward the middle. Just keep your body in the way of 89. Okay. Okay. He's got his left hand inside. I'd like to see him fight to get that right hand inside. That doesn't happen. but Again, he does turn his body the right way to, you know, kind of seal that. But left hand inside, right hand out. Just kind of working with the tackle. Not mad at that. Uh, good job. Keep keep the hand fight going. I don't like seeing all this jogging, though. He needs to finish his food. Uh, I'd like to see you catch that. That wasn't the easiest catch in the world, but you've got to catch that still. Okay, that's fine. Um, all right. All right, he's got his hands inside here. He sunk his his hips down. Tackle just kind of beat him though. <laughs> he, what happened? What happened, man? You were looking okay. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. He pulled down on his arms. That's what happened. Pretty good play from the uh, defender there. He just kind of pulled down on his arms and got free. Hands inside. Maybe he's getting a groove going, and because of that, he was able to set the edge. The edge, 89, 89 didn't look like he was trying that hard on that play either. Which, I mean, the score isn't ridiculous where I would just stop. All 
I'm gonna have to replay that. I gotta. Okay. So he went down. Okay. I didn't find him before the play started. I wasn't sure if he was a tight end or fullback there. All right, got the left hand inside for sure. It looks like he's got his right one in. Again, you got to finish. Was kind of working with the tackle a little bit there. <laughs> okay. Let's um. Let's rewind this. Let me let this go full speed so we can kind of see a little bit of the athleticism here. See what we're working with. So, I mean, he's not the slowest guy in the world, but, I mean, <laughs> he, he's, he's definitely a blocking tight end. Which, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know if he's going to be able to make this roster. Maybe. But he's, okay, so he's going to get his hands inside here. Uh, what happened there? Slow it down a little more. Because you were looking okay. Uh, he pulled some cloth. Yep, that's a cloth pull. Seems to be something that he's not very good at defending against. It's happened quite a few times this game so far. Kind of got lost in the funk there a little bit. It's a brutal angle to try to see people at. I think he's just kind of in there somewhere. All right. So the tackle passed the defender onto him. Uh, he's got one hand inside. He wasn't really fighting that hard to get off of him, to be fair. Okay, so that's all of it. Only about a second left. Uh, that's really all the film that I have available to me. So, um, yeah, I mean... Based on what I knew about him previously, just kind of watching him in passing, you know, watching like Nate Stanley, stuff like that, just seeing, uh, you know, Tristan Wirfs, looking at just other Iowa prospects, I kind of scouted him a little bit. Um, wasn't really that interested in any of the tight ends this year. None of them really impressed me. I don't think I did any videos on tight ends until like we got, uh, so we got Chris, so... Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know the likelihood of him making this roster. I mean, overall, he's a blocking tight end but because he's not that athletic. But his hands are inconsistent. Like, he needs to get his hands inside more consistently, and he really needs to learn to finish more consistently too. Uh, he kind of stops mid-play sometimes, and that really bothers me. Now, if he was like a super athletic tight end, like if this is Noah Fant blocking like that, then it's fine to me because I'm, I'm going to use you mostly as a receiving target anyway. But if you're going to be a blocking tight end, you need he needs to improve those skills. And Adam Shaheen, the tight end we just got from Chicago, his blocking skills are pretty decent. They're, they're solid, much better than his. So... And, yeah, I, I just don't know the likelihood of this guy making the roster. I mean, maybe. Maybe he can do enough to try to get on special teams. Or It's not really a preseason, so he's not really going to be able to impress on preseason or for uh, special teams. So, I don't know. If I said special teams earlier, I meant to make the practice squad. That's what I meant to say. Um, 
But, yeah. I think that's pretty much going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.